So what does a Hillary Clinton backer have to say in response to what you just heard? Chris Hahn is a syndicated radio host and a former aide to Chuck Schumer, and he joins us tonight. Chris Hahn, thanks a lot for coming on. Anytime, Tucker. So look, despite, I mean, we just heard some explanations, um, you know, not all of which were entirely clear, but the bottom line remains this. Donna Brazile called early that the campaign was ignoring the basic theme of the season, which was populist economics. Okay, she got that. Ravi Mook and the rest yep. of the people in Brooklyn did not get that. They mistreated yep. her, she said. They did not take her seriously because she was a woman. She says she experienced sexism in that campaign. I don't think that's something Democrats can brush off as ridiculous. And third, she says that Hillary Clinton actually really was sick, genuinely sick, and that someone who was running the Democratic Party and wanted her to win was so worried she thought about replacing her. Those are not small things. No, they're not small things, but I will say in defense of the sexism charge, they treated a lot of people poorly, and it's probably why they're not president right now. Uh, you know, there was a lot of grassroots activists that were very turned off by what was going on in Brooklyn, and that was a major flaw in the campaign. And as right. they do the autopsy of that campaign, that's one of the things that gets repeated over and over by people I know who are close to it. Right. I, I think it's an, that's an honest response, and I've heard that from a lot of people. But it elides over maybe the core irony here, which is that a campaign whose whole rationale was empowering women was treating at least one woman, woman less well because she was a woman. Sexism from the Hillary well, campaign, I mean, that honestly, do you know what I mean? That's like PETA opening a butcher shop. It's just, it's, it, it's weird. Yeah, I mean, you know, I listened to the entire interview, and it was a great interview, and I don't think she really confirmed that it was sexism, but it definitely was. She, she was book, treated she poorly. Was. Yeah. She, she was treated poorly by them, and I, I don't doubt that at all. In fact, you know, look, there was this I'm smarter than you, leave me alone attitude from that campaign, which was part of their flaw, and Donna Brazile was right. They were ignoring the signs in the street at the, because they were trusting those algorithms too much. And that's what ha that's what happens when you do that, I guess. You got to well, use no, both. You got to be in both places. No, I think that's right. Um, and yet, rather than admit that, I mean, that's clearly true. Okay, it's clearly true. Right. And yet, rather than admit it, you're seeing this weird little cult around Hillary gather around and think of ways to rebut Donna Brazile's book. Basically, it's all defense. Let's attack her. Instead of just conceding, you know, it was kind of a badly run campaign. Obviously, they lost. Why is that always their <laughs> well, instinct? Let me just key on a word you said, little cult, because it is yeah. a very little cult at this point. Most of the people who are against Donald Trump have moved on. That was very evident last night in Virginia and other places in the country. So while there are going to be some loyalists to her who will fight till the death for every last criticism of the campaign and of her, uh, I think it's a very small group, but I think most people have moved on at this point. Yeah, it seems to include an awful lot of reporters, which is why it annoys me. But I think your, your, your point is probably fair. Chris, thank you. Anytime.